The newborn tiger cubs have just appeared in the world. Now they are facing many dangers and enemies. The mother tiger stands outside to protect her young. Everywhere there are vicious enemies. She uses the power of her roar to terrify those who threat. However, the lord of the forest, standing and roaring, is not enough to drive away all enemies. This tiger has decided to run fast, protecting herself and the young cubs. The prey this time for the tiger is aiming at the babies. Picking up momentum, she is ready. When the tiger comes running, the monkeys rush in the trees to avoid the pursuit of the tiger. They stand in the treetops, teasing the tiger looking below and dangling right in front of her mouth. The teasing continues far beyond the tiger's endurance and sometime the monkeys jump to the ground waiting for the tiger to run up and climb back to play. With such an enemy like this, they are not willing to dance with the monkey. To them, it is more like a toy. But this time, the monkey will not let go. They are determined to get killed. It is a death wish for such a foolish animal. Taking continuous swipes, the tiger simply does not have enough patience for a foolish animal like this monkey. Without being careful, these can be the final moments of a foolish animal. The angered, bitter tiger paddles his way up the tree, determined to catch him one last time. But the branches are growing small. This is an unforgettable moment for the tiger clinging for his life at the very bitter end of the treetops, attempting to take revenge against the foolish monkey. Finally, the tense moments are coming to an end. He can no longer cling on, and the tiger begins to slip away due to his large body. Painfully hitting the ground, he is seeing his complete failure. The newborn tiger cubs are still weak and vulnerable to attack. The mother faces many dangers to protect them. It is the trial of tribulations, and the mature mother must become more powerful, defeating the fearsome enemies. She searches hard to find food sources, avoiding all confrontation. But on the other side, the monkeys are still working hard for their own survival constantly looking for fruits, seeds, or ants to feed themselves. The tiger begins to move in quickly, selecting his prey. This time he is determined to take the revenge of the monkey. And the tiger lurks in, unable to break the branches but sneak stealthy through the bushes. He pushes forward, capturing the monkey beneath his teeth. The monkey does not have time to react and is turned into a meal. In the jungle, large herds of impalas move through the territory, but the groups of baboons eat silently next to them. Unfortunately, they realize a more appealing dish as it begins to invite the others to the party. Signaling for a fight, the baboons move in against the impalas, pretending they are foraging and then ready to ambush. They split into many and the impalas are forced to run. Now they target the young. It is in fact the weakest of the group. The fight goes on for a long time, but the mother impala finally gives up as her young is attacked. The baboon has won, receiving the reward that it deserved for the victory. A delicious meal. 
The greedy baboon eats his meal alone, filling his stomach, while the mother watches as her baby Impala is torn to bits. As the mother comes back to attack, the baboon is not letting go. This is a relentless move. Even the comrades don't dare to interrupt him. Seemingly grooming at the Impala, the monkey has kidnapped the young, ready to take it in as its own. In the vast open land, baboons live on the ground. Here is where the large source of water is for bathing, drinking, and playing. A few baboons split as they have observed something in the distance. An organized attack for defense is skillful and requires planning. They signal to the group. It is here on the ground that the baboons make their best attack. Others wait in the treetops, observing and protecting the herds. But the organized attack is ready. The ambush is launched. Now carrying young in hand, the baboons must be careful when the lion is appearing. The lioness begins to emerge. Suddenly, she has spotted the baboons. Screaming in panic, they inform each other. Taking refuge in the cliff. It is a risky endeavor, but this is one place the lion will never capture. Some baboons are subject to return to their habitat when they see that the lion is nearby. Seemingly out of danger, the baboons begin to relax. But the lion still lurks in the forest, ready to attack when the monkeys are not looking. Brushling in the bushes, the lion is observing every moment. This time, her plan is perfect. Together with comrades, she is ready to pounce. Surrounding and attacking, she makes her move. Some of the baboons react far too slowly, and these are targeted by the lioness. The young baboon was inevitably bitten on the head by the lion, taking its life. And the mother watches helplessly from the treetops, not willing to get involved. Meanwhile, the nimble baboons paddle as best they can up the tree, chased by the lion, scared for a second attack. Roaring as determination comes through, the fierce battle takes place on all fronts. The lion attacks with strength, and the baboons desperate to get away. In the forest, the adult baboon is surrounded, trying to fight back, but the lioness is large, and she causes him to be defeated. As the bloody war comes to an end, the lions are happy that they roared enough. Although a heartbreaking scene, it is the lions who come out victorious. Determination and success. A leopard is hunting, going from dry grass to the open field where the hedgehog lays. Leopards are slow and careful, approaching their prey, and the hedgehog remains calm in grass. The lion approached. The hedgehog was ready to move forward. Before the sharp armor of the hedgehog, any carnivorous animal must be afraid. He ruffles his thorns so that the leopard could only stand, but not attack. He still does not give up. The lion had not yet attacked. A 
another hedgehog is being attacked by two cheetahs. After stubbornly attacking his prey, the leopard must endure the stuck feathers in his mouth and bodies. He must remove them alone. The leopard is seriously injured. He must try to return to safety. But the wound is so deep, it makes him difficult to move throughout the mounds. In the chicken coop, the hen is taking care of her babies when a falcon has flown into the coop. Instincts of the mother, the hen quickly runs to attack the falcon. The hen has flown up and knocked the falcon to the ground, keeping it pecked at bay. Meanwhile, the falcon has no time to react. Because of the suddenness, it took a while for the falcon to get up and fly away. He tries to get out of the enclosed chicken coop, but he still couldn't. It is attacked by the crazy mother hen. In the end, the little falcon was badly injured by the mother hen. He is collapsed in the chicken coop. On the savannah, two wild horses are fighting with each other in a dramatic manner. And in the forest, hunting lions observe the horses from afar. After a while, they must begin to approach the herd. There are wild horses running away from a crocodile's chase. And on the shore, the crocodile is running. The speed is far behind that of a horse, so it's easy to escape. Few other horses run in pursuit. The king of the meadow. Horses and lions are both the top two fastest animals. The horses run into the lake and they are attacked. In the bushes, the lions are quietly observing. The lions begin to approach the lake, preparing for the attack. The lions drink water and they are quickly attacked by the lion. A new day begins, and the lions begin hunting, headed towards the herd of buffaloes grazing. The lions stand nestled in the grass, carefully observing the herd, beginning to speed up and attack. The wild buffalo must run away. Arriving to the forest, the buffaloes begin to resist. One buffalo runs, attacking. The wild buffalo rams into the lion. He is seriously injured by the strong horns. He's fallen to the path and continues to get rammed. He can only weakly resist. After lying for some time, the buffalo gives up. But the buffalo quickly stood and the lion attacks again. He jumped on the top after being beaten down. He doesn't have strength left. Quickly, the buffalo chased the lion back to the ground. Finally, another buffalo joins forces. After they have left, the lion lays on the ground covered in wounds, trying to walk. The lion faces many dangers while hunting. There are unexpected situations that make both of them unable to eat their prey. They must carry several injuries. On the prairie grass, an eagle is attacking a peacock. The peacock must protest fiercely and gets chased away by the eagle. The angry peacock ruffles his feathers, causing the eagle to jump back in fear. The peacock must leave, but the eagle still tends to attack following the peacock. A monkey is crossing the lake. When he has reached the shore, the monkey was stopped by two mallards in front of the road. The two mallards join forces to attack the monkey. They fly over and peck at him so much that the monkey could not move. The monkey can only endure the mallet's decision. 
After one hour of tacking, the mallards must leave. A lioness is standing in the prairies looking around. Wild horses move about running towards the lake. A few lions observe the horses, turning to stalk. The lion stands in front of the den and they harass, making the wild boar run out. Quickly, the lion catches the boar. He tries to bite the neck, bringing him down. But the wild boar must fight fiercely. Another one is running away from the lion's chase. They are agile, but they cannot escape the speed. The lion has caught up. As another lion is chasing him on the grass, in the distance, a herd of large boars are running away from the hunting lion. Quickly, they are approached. The lion begins to chase the prey. After hours, he is finally caught. Once on the open ground, he can eat his prey. On the step, the lions are confronting each other. They are mad and they fight for territory. The battle happens between males, and the female lions are ready to attack to protect their habitat. The male lion is attacked and chased away by a group of females. Another lioness Wounded in the tail, she returns in agony. The female lioness had her tail amputated. It finds a quiet bush to rest in the forest. Today's video is ending here and thanks everyone for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other interesting fighting animal videos. Thank you everyone and we'll see you in the next video. The wild horses are confronting each other on the grass. On the trail, a crocodile is chasing the zebra. He tries to escape. The lions begin their hunt, observing mother and daughter on the step, the newborn with the mum. The lion silently observes their prey, and while the zebras are calmly grazing, he approaches, lurking in the bushes. Seeing the zebra to run, the lion sped up the chase. Flying across the meadows towards the zebra, they run. Now facing crocodiles once again. The zebra is being chased, running for a while, he has returned to the herd. The lion chases another zebra. He is caught and protests fiercely. Today's video is coming to an end and thank you for watching the entirety. What topics do you want to see next? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. In the forest, eagles fly around looking for food. The eagle spreads his wings in the vast sky to hunt. In the open field, the mother and daughter are looking for food when the eagle has landed to attack. The hen immediately stands up to fight and chase away the eagle, protecting her chicks. With the maternal instincts, the hen fights the eagle so fiercely, it is ready to attack the bird that intends to take her chicks away. The chicks must stand by witnessing the fight between the hen and the eagle. After a while of back and forth, the chicks are nestled into the nest. Meanwhile, the eagle does not give up trying to reach them. But in the end, the mother hen always shows her strength to fight. And she protects her babies. After a while, the eagle continues to visit the chicks. But the mother chick is always there to protect the babies and the eagle cannot succeed. Today's video is coming to an end and thank you for your attention. 
If you love videos about fighting animals, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the latest content. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.